Tia started competing when she was a teenager, but then slowly started losing her vision. But she has refused to let it become an obstacle in her journey to greatness. NBC 10's Francis Wang with the story. It takes dedication and discipline to compete at the highest level, even more so if you're ranked number one at what you do. When you're training for the 2024 Summer Paralympic Games, like 25-year-old Liana Mutia. There's no limit here that's ever wasted. Liana truly hasn't wasted a moment. Since starting judo at 14 years old, she's become a two-time Pan American champion a two-time world medalist, a 2020 Tokyo Paralympian, and the top judoka of her division in the world. Liana's extremely humble when you ask her about her achievements. I'm not super strong, and I'm also not super aggressive. Um, I'm just very, I'm just an intelligent fighter. It's not gonna be here. So we asked those who train with her. Then three. They sang her praises. What makes her so good is her ability to learn things and do them as quick as possible. She is so focused, um, she's so driven, she really cares about her improvement, um, and at the same time, she's a very generous and fun partner. All of this she tackles while working as a contractor for Comcast and being legally blind. Losing my vision when I was a teenager and I became totally blind when I was 17. It's still extremely difficult for Liana to talk about. Do you want the real answer? And the adjustment, even more challenging than any of us could ever imagine. Like suddenly you can't, suddenly you don't know how to use a computer, suddenly you don't know how to read. You don't even know how to like make a cup of coffee by yourself without asking someone for help. And obviously I've come a long way from that, but sorry, I'm trying not to be emotional actually. No, Judo has become an outlet. It forces you to learn how not only how your body works and where your body is in terms of anything else, but also where your body is in space and in relation to your opponent or whoever it is that you're throwing or working with. And it's become a sport she's conquering while representing Team USA. It would just be an honor. I mean, I'm representing my country on one of the on one of athletics greatest stages. She plans on competing in both Paris this summer and in L.A. four years from now, and then maybe a pause in her judo. But the lessons she's learned on this mat, she'll always have with her. You need three things and three things only. High intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. Wow. Just remarkable what she can do. Amazing. Blind. Good for her. Excellent. We'll be rooting for her. Yeah, I can't wait to watch. So impressive. Count on NBC10 for complete coverage leading up to the summer games.